Hey, hey, hey. Sunday morning. Welcome. Terry and Hyman here. Empowered Spirit Circle on Facebook, Natural Forces Studio, and the Empowered Spirit Show. Come on in and join me. Time to focus our energy for the week. We have an intense week starting. We've got the eclipse season opening up this week. Lots to talk about. Lots to focus our energy about. So come on in and join me. We're going to take a few minutes to talk about the week to align our energy, to pick a few cards, and to really look at what's going on and how you can use this eclipse season for your highest good. So come on in, I'm on Instagram this morning as well as Facebook Live. Good morning, Thelma, how are you? So come on in and join me. We're just gonna take a few moments this morning to really figure out how we can use this energy for our highest good, all right? The eclipses are like wild cards. There's a lot that goes on when we have the eclipse season coming in. So that eclipse comes in on the new moon energy this week. It's a partial eclipse, not like last August when we had that full eclipse going on, but still the energy is really powerful. So we're going to talk about it. We're going to look at how we can really help our own self to use this energy really wisely so that we can work through it, so that we can use the forces of the cosmos to push us through. I know I've been working on a lot of things going forward. So I know for myself, it's really time to really break through some of these patterns. We don't need to stay stuck in the same thing. And when we have the cosmic forces coming in like we do, it's a great time to use that as courage to step up to the plate, to open up to the energy that you're working with, definitely. So I'm gonna take a moment here and just share it out through my groups. If you're not in my empowered spirit circle, Come on in and join me. Definitely. You can find me on Facebook. I'll be happy to invite you into the group. We talk about stuff. I love to share articles and crystal information and all that kind of stuff. Hey, Hend hey Heather, good morning. Going to call you Hendrick. <laughs> good morning. How are you? So yeah, there is a lot of cosmic influence going on. So definitely check in. Let me know what's going on. Let me just share this out so I can focus. If you're hitting the, if you're on there and come on in, hit share. Maybe there's somebody that needs to have a little bit more focus in their life. It'll be very helpful for them as well. Just hit that share button. All right, I've got it in the Empowered Spirit Circle. Again, find me on Facebook with that. And then let me just share it on my feed. Here we go. Good morning and happy birthday. Actually, my birthday's coming up soon. My son came in yesterday to celebrate, and my daughter will be in next week. So I'm super excited about all of that. So I guess it's a birthday month, right? Definitely. Yes. Hey, Leslie. How are you, dear? Welcome, cousin. Hey, Rachel. How are you, too? All right. I got one more share. Actually, I think that's good for now. All right, so we do have a lot of cosmic energy coming in this week. We enter into that eclipse season. We have three of them this summer, two in July, one in August. So this week, as we start to move into the week, we do have a little bit of what they call the balsamic moon, the dark of the moon. So that's as it finishes its cycle from full, that fourth phase, and then it comes in Thursday into the new moon. Now, we also have an eclipse. The eclipse energy brings in just like a... A roller coaster. Some people even, I like to look at it as like a portal of energy. Like you can work through that energy. You can open up. It can give you the courage and the insight to do things that maybe are stuck in your body. So notice like where are these issues stuck? I know for myself, I've been working through the chest. I had an amazing breathing, breathing session. Unbelievable on Friday where I really breathed through where it was hurting in my body and where I'm really working on to really empower my voice to open up to what I need to express and say and even heal, work with. I've been talking about the working I've been doing that's been stuck inside of me. Hey, bearded Mets bro, good morning. And <laughs> I've been working with really opening up to what some of that energy of that skin cancer has been all about. And so, yes, yeah, some of it's still stuck here and I'm working to open it up. So for me, this means as the eclipse comes in, where can I empower? 
myself? Where can I empower my voice? That's what's been coming forward. Empower your voice, Terry. Empower your voice. So where can you empower your own work? Maybe that's something you've been holding on to. Maybe it's something that's been holding you down. So as that eclipse energy comes in, you really want to just like move through that portal of energy. Have the courage, have the strength, have the faith to open up to express what it is to make that shift. I love eclipses because of the shift. Now, we can get caught in the eclipses too. We can get caught in if we're not expressing, if we're not doing our work. We can feel like a roller coaster, like, oh my God, this energy's throwing me all over the place. And that's what many people feel because they aren't grounded. They don't know how to express this kind of energy. So this is what I'd like to offer is just kind of Center, and we'll do that today in our meditation. Center and ground, really important right now. Feel those roots, push them into the earth, really strong. Feel the feet underneath you connected. And then you can be open to really being a little bit able to flexibly, flexibly, what a great word, to to be have that flexibility to move and shift and change the energy that you need to change, all right? And we can do that. It just takes a little bit of working, and you just bring that vibration up a little bit by little bit by little bit. That's what this week is all about. So lots of times as we'll go through, as we start, as we move into the new moon, lots of people get caught in the dark of the moon because that darkness is deep. It's dark. It's inside of us. But you've heard the expression, light, shine a little light, the darkness will go away. I know for myself that as I start putting that light into parts of me that are really a little feeling dark right now and hard, that that is what opens up for me. The light shines, then we can work with the energy that we need to. We definitely can work with that kind of energy. So that's what we're going to be feeling. This is a super new moon. It's a partial eclipse. Even though it's partial, that means we won't be able to see it all. We're still going to feel it. We're still going to feel the vibrations of that cosmic force is coming down on us and really stirring a lot up. So where are you holding that energy in for you? Most of us feel it in the physical sensation. Some of us can feel it energetically, right? The more energy work you do, the more you'll feel it in that energetic plane. So where is it holding on for you? Where in your body can you bring that breath to it? Where can you bring the ability to have the courage? Now, you've heard me say this before. Spiritual paths, spiritual practices give you the courage. When we continually connect to that place inside of us, it gives us the courage to step up to the plate, to say the things that need saying, to really correct or really heal Heal is a better word, the energy that's going forth, right? Going forth. And that's what this week is all about. It really is. So we start out Monday, a little dark of the moon. Really, Tuesday, Wednesday is that balsamic dark of the moon. So Monday's kind of like, all right, get your work done. Notice what you need to notice. And then as you start to prepare for that eclipse, start doing your work. Do a little journaling. Do a little writing. Do a little putting those intentions out into the universe. And that's really what's going to help you. Now, maybe you're going, I don't know what this is about. <laughs> Some of us do that. We get all confused. I know I've been there myself. And that's when you just have to like sit quietly. That's the best thing you can do is really sit quietly. All right, I have a few notes that I had gotten. I've been in a group for astrology, been studying a little more. I love astrology. I'm not, an, I'm not a reader, but I certainly love looking at the energy. So the new moon does come in on Thursday. It's in Cancer, all right? That's my astrology. So all of us have birthdays coming up right now. We're going to feel a little bit more. It's 20 degrees. You may need to know a personal chart reading to know where that is for you. You guys know I love Z-Girl Astrology. You can reach out to her. You can post through this if you want to find your own chart information. She can do that for you. So the solar eclipse is influenced by a powerful opposition to Pluto, which indicates like sometimes a, a crisis. Like you may be feeling like, who am I? What am I? It's a self-esteem. Am I good enough? Is my work good enough? You're going to be feeling a little bit of that. And if you're holding issues down, it's going to affect you even more. All right. So it could be either with a relationship or an event coming up in your life. All right. So it really does help to really kind of trigger some of those neuroses that we all have. Right. We all have them. So it might you might feel a little bit of a trigger as you move into the work. But the way to work through this is to really open them up, bring light into it, open it up. So I ask you that question. What is holding you back? What is holding you back? Post below. What is holding you back? As you start to express it, that's how we start to let it go. All right, what is holding you back from happiness and success? Those are the biggest questions to ask right now. 
all right? Because there's like this grand trine configuration, all right? I'm just learning about this too, that will help you to apply this to your transformation for love, for finances, and for your creative work. All of this is really important right now, all right? So as we face those parts of us, that darkness, those issues, those ch struggles, and those challenges, that's where we can open up. That's where we can make those shifts. And again, summer's a great time to look at those things, to bring that passion and that fire. Burn it up inside. That's what we want. And then express it. Put it out into the physical world. And that's where you're going to find transformation occurs. It's not always easy to, trans to do transformation work. I know that. I'm a transformational healing coach, right? Healing spiritual counselor. It's not always so much. All right, yes, A, I know you have had so much change and it will start to settle down. It will because you have been going through many changes and you've been facing them, which is really great. And that's what we need to do. So it can be a little bit discerning. It can be a little bit like unsettling. That's why we need our spiritual practice, right? That's why we need to ground our energy because we need to ground so that as everything shifts around us, we'll be okay with it. All right, because nothing stays the same. We know that. Cycles come, cycles go. We're on top. We're grateful because it changes. We're on bottom. We're grateful because it changes. So that wheel of life keeps moving. All right, so we have the energy of the new moon, which is new intentions. Put that out there. We still have it. And then we have the energy of that eclipse coming forward. So we know what eclipses are about, right? We have the new moon. The moon passes between the earth and sun. And then that's when we have that solar eclipse because of the way the alignment all comes about. It's partial again, so it's not like the full one that we had last August, but it doesn't mean it's any less effective, all right? So new moons always represent the end of the cycle, and then we start again. So that's where we reset our intentions. We put those new things out into the world, all right? And we're going to have another one, another eclipse, I mean. We always have new moons. We always have full moons, but we're going to have another eclipse the end of July when the full moon comes around, and we have another one in August. So really kind of setting yourself up for it. So really important to... Put those intentions out. Write down your goals on a sheet of paper. I always talk about new moon. Write down those goals like they're wishes, like intentions. This is my intention. All right, so you'll do that on Thursday. It comes in, I think, pretty early Thursday morning. I forget the exact time. Check that out wherever you are. All right, so as you move through this week, Monday's going to be pretty basic. You're going to be okay, but by Tuesday, Wednesday, you're going to start to feel some of that darkness, some of that eclipse energy coming in. Thursday's when we're going to open up that portal of energy. All right, so really look to where you are, where are you feeling it in the body, where are you holding on, all right? You guys have heard me say 85% of physical ailments come from unresolved emotional issues. So that can be a clue. Where are you holding that energy, all right? I know I've been having a little chest cough. I've been working with that energy, opening up my heart, releasing some of this emotional energy of relationships in my own family, stuff like that. So where is it for you? Where are you blocking? That's the main question for you today. All right, so let's center our energy. The cards are perfect alignment. I took the shaman cards, loving the shaman cards, and we'll get to that in a minute. So let's just take a moment, take a deep inhale. As we get quiet, this is what helps you to find what it is you need to release. And just exhale and send that energy all the way down, deep into the earth. And as you inhale, bring the breath all the way back up and inhale it exhale it back down deep into the earth call in your higher guides call in your higher self align with the spirit within you and inhale bring that breath up and as you exhale send it all the way back down close the eyes send it deep into the earth inhale open up as we call in divine spirit our masters our teachers call in the angels call in whoever it is that offers you support in your life Feel that alignment. Feel the spiritual body coming in alignment with the physical body. Call in all those many parts that you've left all through the week. Call them back in. Releasing energy if that's not yours. Send it back to whoever's it is. Let it go. Feel that alignment of your own energy coming forward. Start fresh as you start this week. Inhaling. And exhaling. Sending the breath all the way down deep into the earth. Take another deep inhale and exhale. Send the breath down deep into the earth. Inhaling, open up as we take a moment of gratitude for all the many things in our lives, good, bad, or indifferent. We honor what we have. We honor the beautiful day that is here. 
We honor the season of the summer. We look to the directions, the south, the west, the north, and the east, above us, below us, right into the very center. Call that energy right into the very center of who you are. Ground your feet on the earth. Feel that connection with Mother Earth. Mother Earth teaches us so much. Inhaling. And exhaling. Bringing that awareness back. Feeling yourself grounding. Very key for this week. Keep continually grounding. Each and every day. Come back to the center. This is how we do it. Getting quiet. A few deep breaths. Aligning the energy, coming back, inhaling, and exhaling. As we get quiet, we can hear our guidance. We can allow the spirit to come forward to tell us the messages that we need right now. Bringing the awareness back, coming back as we start to look at the cards that we've drawn for this week. Coming back. All right, I have my crystals beside me. Right now is a great time to bring out the tiger eye. All right, tiger eye is a really good stone for right now. All the carnelians, passions, desires in your life. I have some beautiful carnelians. Citrine, prosperity, digestion, partly, really important for the summer. Tangerine quartz, beautiful stone for fun. And I've got my lemarians, of course, lemarian seeds, which brings that fire and that communication to spirit. So I bring these, car these stones forward. As I align the energy of the cards. All right. So this is a universal card. And then we'll get into the one, two, and three. So if you didn't choose a card yet, just think of what you want. One, two, or three. But the card for all of us that we start with is called the sacrifice. All right. I know on Instagram it's backwards. But on Facebook, here you go. Sacrifice. The sacrifice. I have been drawing this card over and over. All right. So it's a universal message for all of us right now. And that's all about giving up something to bring something new in. All right, what are you really so attached to that you can't live without? Like, what are you holding on to? And I like to look at this out, like, what are you holding on to? What is fighting inside of you that you just, like, got so much revenge or anger or energy like that? To me, that's what this is about. Where can you let that go? Give it up to spirit. Look how she's sending it up into the universe. So this is important as we move through this week. This is a beautiful card for this week. Think about what you can give up so that you can let it go. So you can bring in new path, new energy. I love this card. It's been a great message for me. So this is the universal card for all of us. So how do we do that? All right, the cards are coming in now. It's going to help you to do that. So if you chose, number one, if that was the card you picked, I love this card. This is called the blade. And it's pointing up. All right, the blade is about cutting through. It's about pointing up to heaven. It's like cut through. I'm done. Release the energy up to the universe, which really goes right along with this card. So it's asking you to be like clean cut, done, cut it. No lingering, no wondering, let it go. This is the opportunity to release it up into the spirit, up into the universe. When we do, it's like cleaning out a closet. You'll bring in new energy. So where can you cut something this week? Where can you release the energy, cut it clean, especially as you move into this eclipse energy, new moon coming forward for you? I love it. It shows it pointing right up. All right, that's the essence of this card that will help you as you cut away, sacrifice it out, right? That will help you. Now, if you chose number two, this is a reverse card. It's called the Ancient Ones. That's what it looks like upright. So this reminds us, and this is also another good card, and I guess this one's speaking to me as well. This reminds us to really let go of what we're holding on to, especially with those that have come before us, all right? That's like family energy, generational energy. What do you keep carrying in the next generation? What do you keep, what keeps trickling down? Maybe it's the way you're treated in your family. Maybe it's the habits that you have that you keep bringing from your own family. This is all about embracing that energy and offering forgiveness. The medicine, because it's reversed, is about forgiveness, all right? We have to forgive, we have to voice what we need to voice, and we have to let it go, all right? Here it is in the regular position, which is the essence of the wisdom of the ancient ones that come before us. Really important, all right? And maybe this is something you're holding on to. I know this speaks to me, and it's time to let it go to voice what you need to voice, all right? Now, if you chose number three, number three kind of relates as well. It's the lower world. So the lower world is about, sometimes it's about our lessons that we've learned, our past hurts, the darkness. Look how dark the card is. It's got the dark blues, which is also intuition. 
So it's about going within and honoring those parts of us because in our struggles and in the darkness, that's where we learn. That's where we grow. That's where our spiritual practice will help you to come forward. All right. I got a few hearts on that one. So this one is all about embracing that energy. And that's what we sacrifice. We go back to that original universal card. That's what we sacrifice. What can you let go? What can you give up, especially as you move through this portal of energy of the eclipse? All right, so beautiful cards, and they really are very similar in that they're all talking about releasing and letting go. Releasing and letting go of whatever that healing generational energy that you may be carrying, whether it's abuse, whether it's treatment, whether it's habits, whatever it is. Cut it, the blade, let it go. Tell the universe right now, I'm done, all right? It's a great card for that. It's sharp, it does it, it's done. And the lower world has embraced that. Embrace that for the changes of who you are. This will help you. This really will. This will shine the light so that you can give it up in the eclipse energy. Open up to that new portal of energy that will come forward for you. All right. Very intense. These next few weeks, we'll have another retrograde. Mercury retrograde will come in at the end of the month. Lots of energy coming forward. So just take a deep inhale. Let the energy settle around you. Let me know if you have questions. I'm just going to check the feed here. Let me know if you want a card. One for you, three for Phil. All right, good choices, definitely. All right, so this week, let's see, what's going on this week? Forma, I'm teaching a meditation class, Brain Food, down at Forma on Tuesdays, 12 o'clock. We had a great turnout. About 16 people came downtown Birmingham. Come meditate with us. Let's raise the vibration of our city. Awake Beham, part of my mission, bringing this out into the world. So it's a... It gives you enough time to come sit. We do a meditation. Actually, I was thinking we would go for 10. We went for 20. Everybody got really quiet. I do a little of the bowls. That helps. Talk about meditation. And then you can have lunch or you go for your own lunch, whatever you want. That's at Forum. It's on 18th, uh, 18th Street and 3rd Avenue North downtown, between 18th and 19th, right above Revelator Coffee. Come join us. Also, I am hoping my Empowered Spirit show launches its new summer seasons. I'm talking about empowering the spirit all the way down to the cellular structure. I'm going to be talking about our endocannabinoid system, CBDs, cannabis world. I have learned so much that I want to share. I've got some great guests coming up. Brian Knight from Modern Mystic is my first guest. And I actually do believe he is doing a Facebook Live today about the CBD subject as well from Modern Mystic in Atlanta. So I'm hoping I get that podcast out. My Producer's been away, but I think we'll be able to get it, if not this week, next week. But I do believe it will launch this week. Very excited to bring this out. How can this help you on a spiritual level, physical level? How can it activate the endocannabinoid system we have in our bodies? And how so much research is coming forward for stuff like social anxiety, depression, epilepsy, seizures, brain headaches, all these kind of things. It's amazing what has come forward, and I'll be sharing my story as well. So look for that on Wednesday. All right, questions? Anybody need a card? Let me know. Let me just check the feed here. All right, Jessica's asking for a card. Hey, Jessica. Jessica was there on Tuesday with us, right? Meditating out. Yay, thanks for coming. We'll be doing it again. All right, Jessica, here's a card for you. Wild woman, this is my favorite card for the summer. Yay, this one makes me so happy. All right, Jessica, this is all about coming out, coming out even stronger, wearing those vibrant colors. I know you cut your hair, so there you go. That's part of it. And really letting that wild part shine. This is what summer is about. This is a perfect card for right now, especially as you move through. So I'm going to tell you, step it up a notch, get out there, shine your light. Got a heart on that. You can do this. You know you can. You can definitely do this. And yes, I will see you for a Reiki 2 on Saturday, which reminds me I have two spots left if you want to come join us. Absolutely. Beautiful card for you, Jessica. Yay. Be that wild woman. Empower yourself. Look how that center of her, look at that opening, right? Shine it out there. Wear those vibrant colors. Get a little messy. Get a little wild. This is a perfect card for right now. It definitely is. All right. I love it. I love it. All right. Lindsay says, what day? I think you're talking about Forma Tuesday at 12 o'clock downtown. All right. Come join us. Great. All right. Stephanie would like a card. All right, Stephanie, this one is for you. It's called The Journey. This is a great reminder. Look at this. I love it. Look how his eyes are looking right out at you. I love this card. The Journey. This is about reminding you it's the journey. 
all right? Not the destination. I know you hear this over and over. People talk about it. It's kind of a buzz phrase, right? But really it is. And I know I have to remind myself too. I'm always wanting to get to the end. Well, slow down. Each day, approach it with curiosity. How does this help my journey today? Even if it struggles, how does this help my journey? How is this walk of life? Look how he's embracing his heart. Look how the opening of his head, the crown around him, the wings, the feathers. All right, look for those signs along the way. That will give you the encouragement to keep going step by step because that is what it's about. We can shift our energy. All right, if we're so busy trying to get to the end, we lose so much. So remind yourself, and I have to remind myself all the time, all right? You're not alone in this. It is a journey. It is definitely a journey, all right? Remind yourself that when you try to future surf and get out there too fast, and that's where confusion can lie. So really, open your heart. Embrace the energy all around you. It almost looks like an owl. I have been seeing owls showing up in my life. See that right up there? That's the wisdom. That's that bigger picture. That's that knowing. You have that, so embrace it. Embrace it on your journey as you move forward. Beautiful card. I have been seeing owls everywhere, real owls. So I, I've been looking at the energy of the owl as well. All right, Becca would like a card in the middle of divorce from abusive. Oh, Becca, my heart goes out to you. Reach out if you want help. I've been there and I have a program. My Empowered Spirit program can help you too. So reach out for me. Definitely do a discovery session. I actually offer discovery sessions and it's just a time to call, get some information, see if this work can help you. There's no charge for it. You can find that on my website at terryannhyman.com, my full name spelled out.com. And also too, if you need to learn how to create a spiritual practice, there's a great free gift on there, creating a spiritual practice. Really simple, very colorful, fun guide that will help you get started. It's not as hard as you think. All right. Becca Zion. Becca, this is for you. My heart goes out to you. I know how that feels. All right, Becca. The sweat lodge. All right. I was at a sweat lodge last weekend. Love the sweat lodge. So the sweat lodge is all about purification. So Becca, make sure that you're clearing your energy. Make sure you're releasing all that you have been carrying with you, being in that marriage, being in the home. Clear your energy. It's time for your purification ceremony. Sweat lodges are great. All right. If you're local and you want to know more about it, let me know. I go up to Nashville, all right? Lee McCormick, he's awesome. He does the sweat lodges. Brent Law, Ted, they all are really good. Marcus helps, Robert helps. They're all really good. And there's some women too. Lucky, she's out there. She does some sweat lodges too. But if you can't make a sweat lodge in the physical form, you can do a purification for yourself, all right? Get some sage, get out there, put your intentions, do some chanting, clear out the energy. Definitely sage all around you, especially for that energy. And this will help you to refresh your energy, to connect with Mother Earth. I will honestly tell you, this has been one of the greatest medicines in my life, is coming into a sweat lodge. It just really confirms my purpose in life. It helps connect me to Mother Earth. And that is exactly what the sweat lodge is about. Ritual, do a ritual, light a fire, light a sage, something that can help you purify your space, your energy, and especially your heart. Reach out, Becca. I can help you. I have been there. Definitely. All right. Thelma wants a card. All right. Thelma, the medicine wheel, another favorite of mine. So the medicine wheel asks us to embrace all those parts of our lives and look at where we are. So being that we're in the summer, the summer is the south, all right? So the south is all about the passions and desires and the fire and the maturing and letting our work grow. But it also asks you, too, to look at the other directions, all right? So the spring is where we just came from. What did you plant? What needs to be weeded? All right, the fall is where we'll be going to. What is in the fall? What is that energy going to bring you forward to that you can offer thanksgiving and gratitude for? And the winners are dreams and visions. So remember, there is a cycle of life. That's what the medicine wheel teaches us, all right? It's kind of like the card when we were talking about the journey. It's like, when we get so far ahead of ourselves, we forget where we are. So come back into the present moment and look around. Look at all the many objects and symbols and light that is in your life that can remind you, be here now, all right? But we look to the circle. We look to that wheel of life knowing it is always changing. This card actually shows the energy of the animal spirits too because in each of the directions there are. There are many different schools and many different houses for what the directions are. So whatever it is for you, all right? But in the South, it is all about the season that we're at now. So be present to where you are. Honor where you've been. Honor what comes before you. And know that wheel of life is always turning. Don't get stuck. 
Don't get stuck in your energy. All right, Lala444. Welcome. You may have a card too. All right, Thelma, let me know if that relates, okay? <laughs> I drew the same card, Lala, so I just put it back. I'm going to draw another one. All right. The owl. Okay, I keep talking about the owl. All right. So the owl is about the wisdom in our life. It's that showing up. It's that knowing. It's that not being afraid of the darkness, right? They come out in the dark. All right. And many times you'll see them in the late afternoon or the very early morning. All right. They do. They have a beautiful wingspan. They have a knowing. So what is your knowing? What are you turning into, all right? Remember that you have this too. And go into that wisdom. Trust it more than you've ever trusted it, especially right now. This is a great card to bring you through the eclipse season, all right? Go into those dark places because you can shine the light. Know this portal of energy is opening up for you. And I think it's like also too. remind yourself, you have the wisdom. You have the knowledge. Just use it. Don't be afraid of it and trust it. Don't doubt it, all right? For all of us out there that are light workers that have intuition, take this energy in for yourself too. The owls have been showing up for me, so I love them. I've been researching. I'm like, what is this about? Why do they keep showing up? So it reminds us we have that wisdom. Don't be afraid of the darkness, all right? That can be metaphorically or that can be the actual dark at night. Like maybe you are afraid at night. Maybe you don't get out, all right? Or maybe it's just the darkness within yourself. So Lala, what is it for you? Remind yourself that you have that wisdom of the owl. Very wise and lots of wisdom in there. It can see in the dark and it can shine light for you as well. Love it. Love that card. Definitely love the card. All right. I love that it keeps showing up over and over. It was incredible. What day? All right. Just check in. Thelma, we got you. Hi, Catherine. How are you? Where are you these days? All right. You may have a card next. I love these cards. They're so great. Flo, I have not actually drawn this card yet. These are still pretty new. I've been getting new ones a lot. This is about going with the flow. All right, when I do draw a new card, I go to the book. That's how Colette Baron reed suggests. She's awesome. She has great things. She actually has a master class on Facebook today. So this is, I would imagine this is talking about going with the flow, not being so caught. But let's just see what the book has to say. The number is 20, so you get this great little book with it, and you get all kinds of insight. This is an awesome deck. It's one of my favorites now because I love Mother Earth. I love it so much. It teaches me so much. All right, so for all that are listening, and Catherine, this card I drew for you, the flow. The essence is a natural movement of events in the world. You can see it in phenomena such as the tide, the ebb and flow of oceans and rivers that rise up from the earth and flow to the sea. The symbol of flow represents effortless and natural moment towards a certain destination. It signifies an ability to gracefully move around obstacles and remind you of the sense of allowing. All right. The sense of allowing to gracefully move around obstacles. So when this card shows up and it was in the upright position, when flow comes to visit, it's a sign that your intentions have been in motion. Now is the time to allow nature to run its course. You're being called to effortless. You're being called to effortless moments. No, you're being called to effortless movements and the path of least resistance. All right, so the path of least resistance, that's important. It's like being within music, flowing within partnership. Think of the artist who creates without guile or craft, calling creativity up from the soul and bringing it into life without effort. You're being called to be like a river, knowing the fulfillment of destiny is ensured. Enjoy the ride. All right, so it's like... Go with the flow, even if things don't quite seem like that's not logical, right? Lots of times that happens and we want to go the logical way. No, this is saying go with the flow, all right? So that flow is there, effortlessly moving around the obstacles. Don't let yourself be caught. It's kind of like when you flow down a river. Don't hold on to the edges because that's where you'll get caught. Go in the center and go with the flow, all right? I hope that helps. All right, anybody else? Love that. Speaks to you. Thank you. Definitely reach out. All right, Lindsay, you want a card? All right. And Patrick, I see you on here. Yay, Patrick too. All right, Lindsay, you have the curse and it's upside down. All right. So this is about feeling that your life is not in alignment with who you are, especially when it's in reverse. All right. So this reminds us to turn that medicine around. All right. And go with the energy that is in the more positive frame. All right. It reminds us to open up. All right. Don't be caught by feeling like your life is all in a negative flow of energy. 
all right? You can feel that as we move through the beginning part of the week. Turn that around. Whenever I see the reverse cards, the medicine for me is always to turn it around and know that these are opportunities for growth, opportunities to seek a new path. And that's exactly the eclipse energy too. So move through, the port move through that portal of energy by releasing whatever negative feelings you may be feeling. Release that energy out and let it open up to you and turn that around so that you can find that flow, all right? All right. So Catherine says she's in Providence. She appreciates all her friends in Birmingham. Yeah, we miss you. All right, Lindsay, I hope this is helpful. Reach out if you need some help. Come join us over at Forma as well. Definitely felt that yesterday and today I feel more hopeful. Good. Keep turning that around for yourself. Don't get caught in those lower vibrations. Now is the time to turn that around. All right, let's see. Patrick, drawing one for you, mixing them up here. Magic. I love this card. We had this last week. Magic. This is a beautiful card to remind you of the magic all around you. All right. Love this card. Beautiful. This reminds us that we can tap into spirit, that we can bring this energy forward for us, especially during this time. So Patrick, as you go through this week, look for those signs around you. Where can you bring that magic energy in? Miracles can occur. We have to believe in them. So don't get caught in the darkness that comes forward as you move through the dark of the moon. Open up to the magic that is all around and turn that darkness around for you. All right? Got a heart for that as well. We can create that magic in our life. Very important to remember to do that. All right? Sometimes we can get caught in the heaviness of the mass consciousness and the heaviness that is all around us. So we have to inspire our spirit to rise above that. Empower the spirit to definitely to rise above that energy. And know, and this is for all of us, know there is magic all around. Everything that we do. All right? Definitely. All right, guys, great cards. I always appreciate you guys showing up. I love offering this work. We have powerful intentions going on this week, powerful energy coming from the cosmos. All right, whether we trust it or not, whether we believe it or not, those vibrations come down, just like we feel the source of the sun, that intensity, just like we see that reflection of the sun through the moon. We have all the planets coming around. We have this alignment coming forward. Cancer is always about sensitive energy, about that intuition, that knowing, that mothering, that nurturing. So take it in. Move through the portal of energy with confidence. Empower your spirit. Empower your throat. Empower your heart to move forward. Sacrifice. Remember, give up something. Give up some kind of issue within you so that you can open up to the freshness, to the magic of all of life all around. All right? Come join me, Forma, 12 to 1. Downtown Birmingham, Awake Beeham. Come on, let's raise the vibration all around us. If you're interested, Reiki 2 on Saturday, have a couple of spots left. Reach out for that. If you need some help, need some guidance, want to build a spiritual path, come join me in my Empowered Spirit program. The link is there. And look for my new series. I'm super excited to bring this energy forward. All right, namaste, guys. Have a great day. Get outside, put your feet on the earth, and offer gratitude. I'm very grateful for all of you for showing up. Keep on, keep on to your spirit. Namaste. Thank you guys so much. Have a great Sunday.